Welcome back, everyone. What is your definition of compassion, and do you experience it daily? Well, a four-day conference is going to be held March 18th through the 21st in Newton, focusing on this topic. And my guests are here today with more. Robin Klein and Kathy Quinn have been through a similar experience, and you're here to tell us about this. It's a compassion uh, conference. So, Robin, I'll start with you. Tell us, what is this all about? Well. Molly, there's a lot of exciting research in neuroscience that tells us three important things. Number one, we're actually hardwired for compassion. We're born with a compassion gene, if you will. Mm. Also, when we act compassionately, we can really impact everything around us, ourselves, our world, our community. And three, just like any muscle, Compassion needs to be exercised. Uh, either we use it or we lose it. <laughs> and so this um, this conference is bringing together experts to uh, talk with us about how we can jumpstart leading a compassionate life. All right, it's called Boundless Compassion Conference. You both have gone through something similar. Kathy, tell us, why did you go through this and what did, what did you come away from with it? Well, um, for me, I, I thought I knew what compassion meant, but it broadened my, I just, cultivating compassion just makes me see everything differently. It enlarges my view, um, more encompassing, and whether it's at home and in traffic, on a workplace, um, just out shopping, I've just found that the compassion just profoundly affected me and therefore everyone around me. And it was kind of like throwing a pebble in a pond and seeing the ripple effect. And how do you explain compassion? What, how would you describe it? I think compassion to me is a way of being. Mm -hmm. It's um, one step more than empathy because it's also how, what can I do about this? It raises curiosity. It's, um, mm -hmm. it's just a way of life. Okay. It yeah, becomes I, a way of I life. I like the way you put that, Kathy. I would say um, uh, compassion for me has made me realize there's not just this way or that way, the right mm -hmm. way or the wrong way, but there's a third way and maybe there's many ways of seeing, mm -hmm. uh, seeing life, seeing a situation. This is a four-day conference. It's going to be in Newton. Where will it be held and who's sponsoring this? Uh, it's being sponsored by the uh, Institute for Compassionate Presence in Omaha mm -hmm. and it's aimed at anyone who wants to really change their life, see things in a new way. Um, uh, organizer Joyce Rupp, who's a local author and um, workshop leader, has gathered experts to speak with us about uh, the many different focuses of compassion for ourselves, for each other, for the earth, for our communities, for the marginalized. All right, so it's $400 for four days, mm -hmm. and so what all will you get in that, I guess, the money as far as the... Well, yeah, go ahead. The lunch, mm -hmm. the luncheon to see the speakers or small mm -hmm. groups. Mm -hmm. We've got small um, group discussion. We'll be doing, uh, watching some videos. We'll be doing lots of self-reflection. Okay, all right. For more information, you do have a website, OSMS. Dot org, and also you can call 402-951-3026. Thank you both for coming in today. We appreciate it. We've learned a little bit about compassion. Thanks today. for having so, me. Thank you, Beth. We'll be back with a look at stocks right after this.